Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vagai Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you will find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. Now this session we have an interesting question under the concept of escalators, a rare concept from time, speed and distance. So here we have an interesting question. Let's see what question we have here. An upward moving escalator has 72 steps. So there's an escalator, it is moving upwards and there are how many steps there? There are totally 72 steps there. So total 72 steps. Let's note it. 72 steps. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Mike steps in the escalator and climbs up 12 steps to reach the top. So there's a person, Mike. Mike is going to step in the escalator. So he's going to step in and he is going to climb up. Remember the escalator is moving upwards and Mike is also climbing up the steps. Climbing up, climbing up the steps. Okay, this is what is happening. And Mike is climbing up 12 steps and he is able to reach the top. That's what is mentioned here. And yes, let's continue. If Steve also steps in the same escalator, there's another person now. Steve is going to step in the same escalator and climbs up thrice as fast as Mike. Now this time Steve is going to climb up but his speed is going to be what it is going to be thrice as fast as that is three times of mic this is what is given then in that case in that case how many steps steve would have climbed up before he reaches the top this is going to be the question such an interesting question we have with us and yes without any complications let's try to solve this question in a very cool way yes fine yeah first of all i'll just try to make a structure so that it would be very easy for us to travel and solve the problem yes I'll make a kind of table here. So here there are two people here, right? So there is a Mike. Mike is the first person and there's another person, Steve. So Mike can climb how much steps? Mike, it is given. He can climb 12 steps. All right, yes. So Mike is going to climb how many steps? He is going to climb 12 steps. And out of how many steps? See, the escalator has got a total of 72 steps. Let's note it. Total is 72. Fine. All right. Okay. Yes. Now, one thing we have to remember here properly, out of 72 steps, Mike is able to climb up 12 steps. Within the 12 steps itself, he is able to reach the top. In that sense, what is the meaning we can understand is, that means the escalator is taking him how many steps? The escalator has traveled the remaining steps. That's the meaning. Out of 72, if Mike is climbing up 12 steps, the other remaining steps is going to be traveled by the escalator. What about the remaining steps? It's going to be very simple 72 minus 12, which is 60, right? Yes, 60. We'll note it down. And yes, now with this itself, you can easily get the ratio between Mike's speed and the escalator speed. I hope I can understand this. Yes, fine. Mike's speed and escalator speed. So just take the ratio because both are in terms of steps only and the same time only because the time taken by Mike to climb this 12 steps is same as the time taken for the escalator to take 60 steps. This we can understand. So in that case, this will give you, the ratio will give you the ratio of their speeds. Which speeds? I mean Mike's speed and escalator speed. Just take the ratio 12 is to 60. That will be nothing but 1 is to 5, right? So just take the ratio 1 is to 5. Now all we need to do is just continue the question. If Steve is going to climb up thrice as fast as Mike. That's what is given. So in that case, if the ratio of the speeds of Mike and escalator is 1 is to 5 and it is given Steve is going to travel thrice as fast as Mike. In that case, Steve's speed has to be 3 parts. If Mike is like 1 part, then Steve has to be 3 parts. Is it or not? Because it is given thrice as fast as in that case, the ratio of speeds of Steve and the escalator must be equal to 3 is to 5. Don't touch or don't change this one. Escalator speed is going to be constant only, is it or not? So with respect to escalator's 5 parts, if Mike is going to be 1 part, then same, same 5 parts, escalator's 5 parts, Steve's speed has to be 3 parts. That's the meaning, very simple because this thrice of this is what is coming here. Now it's going to be very simple, same 72 steps, same 72 steps. Now, Steve can climb how many steps? This is going to be the question. Now, just divide this 72 in this 3 is to 5 ratio. That means like this will easily give you the steps shared by Steve and escalator. Is it or not? So 72 just divided in the ratio 3 is to 5. What is 3 is to 5? The total parts is going to be 8, right? So 3 plus 5 is going to be 8 parts. 
So 8 parts is equal to this 72. So in that case, one part will be equal to 9. So that means we need Steve's steps, right? How many steps Steve is going to climb up? That's going to be the question. So in that case, three parts is going to be, what is three parts? Three parts is going to be simple. Nine threes are, which is going to be 27 is the answer. So 27 steps. Mike, I'm sorry, Steve will be climbing up 27 steps to reach the top. That's going to be the answer. And our answer is ready available at option B. Option B 27 is going to be the answer for this interesting question. I hope you enjoyed this question. And one more thing here, the important, the very frequent trap that you can see here is this option 36. I'll tell why. Why? Because like see here, maybe like before you start solving this problem, you yourself would have fallen through this trap. So anyways, like we should be very cautious in, the, in that. So the moment you see the word like Mike can step in 12 steps, Mike can climb up 12 steps. And if Steve is thrice as, thrice as fast as uh, uh, Mike, the moment that condition is given, most of us would have fallen for that trap also because uh, 12 threes are then Steve could be able to step or climb up 12 threes are 36 steps. Okay, that way also that way also some of you would have approached but that is completely wrong and it's an important trap answer purposely they have given that so we should be very careful in be sure with or we are not going to attend those trap answers that's the reason okay anyways the correct answer is going to be option b 27 is the right answer i hope you enjoyed this question and yes if at all you feel this session to be useful please give a like and if you feel this session would be useful for any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also again we'll catch up in the next session with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much